So in this video, we have uh, two particles uh, that are attached by a light inextensible string um, going over a smooth pulley. Uh, the particles are released from rest, uh, find the tension of the string and the acceleration of the particles. So really it's asking us what happens next, okay? Now, because the mass of this particle uh, is greater than that one, this one will have a greater weight in which case that means that this one is going to drop down and that's going to in turn bring the two kilo particle racing upwards. Okay, so let's add to this diagram. Uh, so we've got the weight of the two particles. So we've got um, two times G, mass times gravity, and we've got five G for this particle. We've got the tension in the string, okay, which is going to be working both upwards in this case, okay. And the acceleration of the particles, well, this one's going to be the one accelerating downwards, okay, and so this one will be accelerating upwards with acceleration A. So that is our situation, adding to the uh, forces diagram. So if we call this particle A and we call this particle B, I'm going to first of all resolve particle A taking A as up, okay? Um, let me write it like this instead. So I'll look at particle A and I'll resolve upwards, taking upwards as positive. So I've got the tension working upwards. I've got 2G working downwards, the, the weight. And that's got to be equal to the mass times the acceleration, F equals MA. So that's equation number one. Then I've got equation number two from B, and I'm going to resolve this time taking downwards as positive. In these types of problems, take the direction of acceleration as positive, okay? It'll help you uh, no end. So I'm going to take downwards as positive. So I've got 5G working downwards. I've got T working upwards, and that's got to be equal to the mass times the acceleration. And there's your equation number two. So now what I can do is I can add equation number one and two together, and that will knock out the t's. I've got 5g take away 2g, so that leaves me with 3g, and I've got 2a plus 5a, so 7a. So if I take g as 9.8, then I've got three lots of 9.8 divided by 7. And that gets me 4.2. So that is the acceleration of the system. Now, as for the tension in the string, I can now substitute that back into one of the two previous equations to get the, uh, to get the tension. So if I substitute into number 1, I've got T, uh, which is going to be 2 lots of G plus 2 lots of A. So 2 lots of 9.8 plus two lots of 4.2 gets me 28. So the tension in the string is 28 newtons.